Hey, Hawthorne Bears, it's great to see you. I have a new Estimate Mystery for you. Uh, this one's probably for grades kinder to first. Uh, second may still enjoy it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So get your number, number detective hats on. This one's called Red and Yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here so you can focus on the picture. Here's a bowl full of red and yellow triangles. What I would like you to do is look at them and see if you can estimate how many triangles are in, or triangular solids, if you want. Uh, but how many triangles do you see in this bowl? Now, remember, we estimate with our eyes, not our fingers. And there's going to be some that you can't see. So can you guess how many triangles there are? What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give you some clues, and we'll work on narrowing down our estimate. All right, so right off the bat, I want you to go ahead, whatever number you decided, whatever your guess was, or your estimate was, I want you to go ahead and write that number down. If you don't have a pencil, that's okay. Go ahead and tell somebody what your guess was. All right, let's go ahead and go through the clues. And this one, we're gonna have four clues. Clue number one, the answer is one of these numbers. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, or 20. Hmm, what do we call those numbers? We're skip counting. Do you know what we're skip counting by? That's right, we're skip counting by twos. So what do you call numbers that end in either a two, four, six, eight, or zero? That's right, we call them even numbers. They're numbers that can be split evenly between two people. For example, if I had four apples, I could share those equally between two people by giving each person two apples. So four would be an even number. So if we look at our thing here, we know that it's gonna be an even number up to 20. So my number chart here, I only did to 20 for this one. So we wanna get rid of the numbers that aren't even. What do we call those? Yeah, those are called odd numbers. So odd numbers cannot be split equally between two people. For example, if I had three apples, I could give a, an apple to two, one apple to two different people, but I would still have an apple left over. So that would be odd. So we want to get rid of our odd numbers, which are numbers that end in one, three, five, seven, or nine. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. All right, that leaves us with 10 numbers. Let's go ahead and look at this. Oh, before I do that, did we cross out your number? If so, that's okay. Go ahead, you've got some further information now. Go ahead and refine your estimate. How many triangles do you think are in that bowl? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at clue number two. Cross off the numbers with the digit two. With the digit two. So looking at this chart here, I see three numbers with the digit two. Can you find them? So there's these two right here, two and 12, because the ones column has a two in it. Do you see the other number with a two in it? Yeah, it's 20 because there's a two in the tens column. So we should get rid of all three of those. Let's go ahead and cross those out. That leaves us with seven numbers. Did we just cross out one of your numbers? If so, that's okay. We, mathematicians, as they get more information, they fine tune their estimates. So go ahead, you've got more information, go ahead and fine tune your estimate here. All right, are you ready for the next clue? Clue number three, cross off the numbers with the digit eight. All right, how many numbers do you see there that have a digit eight? I see two. We have eight and 18. 
do we ha would it be possible if we go from one to 20 for there to be a number with an eight in the tens column? No, you're right, because that would be 80 and our chart only goes up to 20 and 80 is much bigger than 20. So let's go ahead and cross out our numbers that have the digit eight in it. All right, that leaves us with five guesses left, four, six, 10, 14, or 16. If we cross out your number, go ahead and update your estimate. All right, do you have your new estimate ready? Let's look at our final clue. Cross off the numbers with the digit four. Do you see any numbers there with a digit of four in them? But look at both the ones and the tens column. So if we look at 11, this is the ones column and that's the tens column. Do you see any numbers with a four in either column? Yep, I see two as well. I see four and 14. So let's go ahead and cross those out. That's gonna leave us with three numbers, six, 10, and 16. So if we look at the bowl, now we know the number is either six, 10, or 16. Knowing all the information we have now, which of those three numbers do you think represents how many triangles are in that bowl? What I want you to do is write it down, and then I want you to tell somebody in the room why you chose that number. Why do you think there's that many triangles in the bowl? I'll go ahead and give you 20 seconds to do that. All right, you got it? Awesome. Let's go ahead and see the number. 16 objects, were you right? If so, great. If not, that's okay. The whole reason why we do these exercises is to fine tune and build those estimation muscles in our brain. And so I want you to keep working on these. Um, each week I post some new ones on the site. Um, you can also find them on our specialist site. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you again. Take care, everybody.